Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about the new seasonal weapons, specifically the weapons from the actual activity. So we're not going to be going through the, the world drops or anything like that. I'll do that in a separate video. I want to cover these first because these are the seasonal weapons and people want to know if the new seasonal weapons are worth it or not. So let's just get right into it. So the first weapon we're going to be talking about is Velpicula. It is a 180 hand cannon, unfortunately. So I know a lot of people are immediately just gonna discount this weapon as just shit, dog shit, which is fair considering 180s are not the best, but let's just go through the perks. It's first, first one's gonna be ensemble. And again, real quick, if there's any new perks, I will have them in the video. So that way you guys can see what they actually does. And I'll actually read them out while I'm doing this. So ensemble, improved handling and reload speed when allies are nearby. Shoot to loot, shooting an ammo brick picks it up and automatically reloads all of your equipped weapons from reserves. Uh, encore, precision final blows grant a stacking range bonus to this weapon. Non-precision final blows remove range stacks, but grant bonus accuracy and stability when all range stacks have been removed. Tunnel vision, <clears throat> killing wind, and outlaw. For the last row, it's gonna be headstone. Precision final blows spawn a stasis crystal at the victim's location. Adiago or adago Ad adagio or whatever i'm gonna call it adiago even though that's wrong after defeating a target this weapon fires changes charges or draws more slowly and deals increased damage for a brief time harmony final blows with the, with other weapons improve this weapon's damage and performance for a short duration multi-kill clip opening shot and explosive payload so immediately this weapon you there's a lot of things you can be doing with this weapon if you want to have a really fun build for like stasis you could probably have headstone with any of the other ones you want i would probably do like tunnel vision or maybe maybe outlaw considering outlaw and headstone would pair really well because precision you have to get a precision final blow with headstone and if you're getting a precision blow then you're already procking outlaw that will that one would probably be the one that people want to get because that that uh synergizes really well <clears throat> another one would probably be like killing wind and opening shot just because uh opening shot will help you get that kill with killing wind or opening shot will help you get the kill so that way you can proc killing wind and killing wind will increase mobility weapon range and handling for a short duration that's pretty cool uh tunnel vision and multi-kill clip would probably be another combination that people would want to go for just because they pair really well together both of them proc on reload um <clears throat> Explosive payload would also be pretty good, especially on a 180, since it's you'll should be shooting super fast. Uh, the only thing I don't know is like where encore or shooting the loot or ensemble would fit. Harmony, I can see it being cool because if you like switch out to a shotgun, get the kill, and then switch back to your hand cannon, then harmony is going to be proc, which means final blows with the other weapon. With other weapons, improve this weapon's damage and performance for a short duration. So that's pretty cool adiago would be interesting i actually have a role of of this and i don't even know like how where would it even go like it makes it slower so would that turn into a 140 is that how that works i don't even remember anymore so i'm i'm ex i'm happy with this weapon although obviously i would be much happier if it was like a 140 or even a 120 but 180s have just been universally dog shit so that's why i'm personally not excited for it let me know if you guys are excited for it or not, but I'm kind of like whatever's to be quite honest. So next one is going to be, what the fuck is this name, Bungie? Fractithist. It is a legendary kinetic precision frame. So not an aggressive, but that's fine considering I'm using the shotgun and I'm actually loving it in PVP. Uh, <clears throat> let's look at the perks. So first one's going to be quick draw, dual loader, slide shot fully auto trigger system ensemble and lead from gold last one's gonna be harmony adrenaline junkie opening shot adiago thresh and trench barrel so pve i would probably go for lead from gold and trench barrel it i i would have loved if it was one two punch because i actually have a build with that but trench barrel is not that bad even though i think it shouldn't be three shots anymore but i mean whatever uh for pvp <clears throat> this is where it gets kind of weird because you could do slide shot and opening shot i think if i remember correctly slide shot will negate some of the nerf of the slide and opening shot will also help you with with the initial shot <clears throat> although i know people would want to get quick draw i know people would love that uh 
the other thing is you would probably want a salt mag on this most most of the time a salt mag is like the way to go and i usually don't cover barrels but usually people are going for full choke so full choke assault mag sliding shot and opening shot or slide shot and quick draw or i'm sorry or quick draw and opening shot that's probably the roles people would want to go for i don't have the god god roll but i have my god roll I, I don't give a fuck about getting like every perk perfect uh the one that i have is slide shot or i'm sorry assault mag slide shot and opening shot i did not get full choke on mine and i have two of these actually i ended up getting two of these and i also did not get full choke on it as well and i was like ah, whatever at the end of the day i really don't care as long as i get assault mag slide shot and opening shot i'm pretty much happy and i've been using it in pvp and i've been loving it it's so much fun so <clears throat> So yeah, if you're interested in PvE, Lead from Gold and Trench Bowl is probably going to be the best one. Just because Lead from Gold, you get ammo for your shotgun if you pick up a heavy. I think that's really beneficial, especially if you have a build around that. Um, and for PvP, Quick Draw, Assault Mag, Quick Draw, and Opening Shot, or Assault Mag, Slide Shot, and Opening Shot. Again, I would recommend Slide Shot and Opening Shot, but that's just me. The next weapon is going to be a Chrysler Mellow. It is an auto rifle in the energy slot which does solar damage and it is a high impact frame the this is actually one of my favorite weapons so far especially some of the perks that it can roll with but yeah let's look at the perks themselves so first and foremost dynamic spray reduction heating up encore outlaw four times a charm and ensemble for the first row for the second row it's gonna be dragonfly demolitionist multi-kill clip frenzy and harmony and thresh so the role that I'm specifically looking for for this one, it would be maybe like along the lines of like heating up and multi kill clip, or I would even take dynamic story addiction with multi kill clip. Uh, Outlaw with multi kill clip would be really cool as well. Fourth times a charm in multi kill clip, I would probably be interested as, in as well. Um, obviously, you can also go with demolitionist if you're doing a grenade build. Uh, I would stay away from like dragonfly. Uh, Frenzy, I'm not the biggest fan of. Harmony would be pretty interesting. And then Thresh, maybe, but multi kill clip is the one that I'm going to be looking for. But then the first row is like where everything's at. So, but yeah, if you are interested, the first row just has so many bangers. Like Outlaw is such a good one. Fourth times the charm could be really good. Uh, heating up is really good. Dynamics ray reduction is really good um encore would be really interesting on this one and i would stay away from ensemble so literally everything but ensemble um so yeah i'm a big fan of this weapon and for those of you who are savvy enough to notice i actually didn't put this video or i actually didn't put this weapon in the video and i'm recording this in a separate time and it's funny because this is like one of my favorite weapons so far and i totally forgot that it existed so don't let that sway you this weapon is actually really fun it is a high impact frame so it does slow it is a slow firing weapon but it also does high damage because it's high impact so do if you don't like weapons like that then i would say stay away from it but i would at least give it a try next one is going to be wolf tone draw it is a precision combat bow in the energy slot and i don't really care about bows unfortunately but let's see let's see what it drops with so impulse amplifier sneak bow ensemble archer's tempo shoot to loot and threat detector for the first row for the second row it's gonna be harmony cornered demolitionist adagio dragonfly and frenzy <clears throat> so if for whatever reason you want to use this in pvp I think sneak bow would be obviously the one to go for increase hold time and reload speed and prevents radar pings from shooting while crouched i think that's just dope as hell um i think archer's tempo is also a good one draw time decreases after every precision hit that's pretty cool as well uh or impulse amplifier massively increases proje projectile velocity and increases reload speed that's also a really good one because it's just it's working no matter what does not need to be procced at all and the other ones i would really ignore ensemble i just don't i don't see the benefit of it unless you run with your friends all the time in pvp and are holding hands uh shoot to loot i don't think this would be beneficial at all either i think this would be better for pve just because there's not a lot of <clears throat> there's not a lot of breaks in pvp unless you well there is the green ones but i don't know like i personally wouldn't do this one let's just say that 
next one harmony i probably would do just because i mean you're getting a boost from getting a kill other than this weapon so like again same same example as the vulpicula if you get a if you get a kill with a shotgun and you then switch to your bow you have immediate uh weapon damage bonus so that's pretty cool cornered faster charge time or draw time when surrounded by combatants i don't see why you would do this this is a bow i just don't see why you would do this with a bow especially in pvp in pve i guess you can get away with it but that's still weird demolition is it's good if you want to go for a specific uh build like a grenade build and whatnot aragio <clears throat> i don't know if it can one tap guardians that would be really gross but at the end of the day i just it'll be a, a slow charge or draw time so remember that Dragonfly is good for PvE and Frenzy is good for PvE or PvP maybe. I don't know. I haven't tested it in PvP. But that's pretty much it for this one. I, I'm i not the biggest fan of this one. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like Vul Vul Vulpecula and the Fracta. I'm just going to call it Fracta. Uh, the shotgun. I'm, I'm a big fan of those two. But when it comes to this bow, I'm like, I don't see anything that really excites me, unfortunately. So... Next one is going to be Iota Dra Draconis, which is a fusion rifle, a high impact fusion rifle in the energy slot. And for the perks, it's going to be Feeding Frenzy, Ensemble, Heating Up, Under Pressure, Surplus, and Left From Gold. For the last row, it's going to be Cornered, Frenzy, Harmony, Kickstart, Adagio, and High Impact Reserves. <clears throat> so obviously for PvP, people are going to be going for Under Pressure and High Impact Reserves. That's like one of the bread and butters of fusion rifles that's a really good pairing uh there's other things that has me interested like kickstart gain bonus damage and charge rate during a slide after sprinting for a short duration this one has me interested only because like it's a slide it's it, it makes me interested but i know that the kickstart buff doesn't last too long um cornered maybe maybe depending on how fast that charge time is and if you pair it with uh which one is it called uh accelerated coils because it, it uh you get a faster charge time so if it if it like double dips from that that'd be interesting to see how like how fast you can do it but at the end of the day it's a fusion rifle i'm not the biggest fan of fusion rifles uh this is also a solar fusion rifle i don't know if i said that but let's go through it pvp under pressure and and high impact reserves i'm not looking at anything anything else for pve lead from gold and maybe maybe harmony or actually probably high impact reserves if i'm being honest like i already explained why i like lead from gold picking up heavy, heavy ammo also grants ammo to this weapon i think that's really cool especially if you have a build for it which i do or you can go for like feeding frenzy and like maybe frenzy i know people would go for that because that's like in people's minds that that's the that's the role to go for last but not least it's canis major uh it is a grenade launcher a solar grenade launcher in the heavy slot it's a rapid fire and i am not the biggest fan of this one i'm gonna tell you guys right now everyone every every single canis major that i've gotten it, the blast radius is fucking abysmal i mean it starts off at 15 so it's already not that good in my opinion so for the perks it's going to be ensemble killing wind surplus field prep uh, clown cartridge and impulse amplifier for the next row it's going to be rampage kill clip vocal weapon adagio chain reaction and unrelenting so for pve you're going to want field prep and vocal weapon most likely uh, you're going to be doing more more damage with Vorpal and with field prep, you're increasing your ammo reserves. Uh, you're getting a faster reload, stow, and ready speed when you're crouched, so that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you're going to want spike grenades as well. That's just going to give you a bonus in damage or in direct damage, I mean. And for PvP, maybe Killing Wind and... Uh, I don't even know. To Actually, Surplus? No, because you don't need a reload. That's the thing, it's like clown cartridge is cool, but for PvP, not really, because you don't get that much heavy to get gain the benefits of clown cartridge. Um same thing with uh impulse amplifier. Yeah, I'll probably just say killing wind for the first slot and for the second slot, um <clears throat> rampage, maybe. Because if you get like if you get like three kills, you're already at rampage three, then 
at, but like I don't, I don't know man the, maybe chain reaction yeah killing wind and chain reaction or killing wind and like something i don't know man this is not a good this is these are not good roles for pvp at least in my opinion although if you're in pvp you probably won't be using grenade launch you'd probably be using something else so that's pretty much it guys uh volpacula is like probably not my favorite mostly because fractal is my favorite uh which is the shotgun the shotgun's like my favorite hands down uh slice shot with opening shot and uh assault mag is like so much fun in pvp uh wolf tone draw is fine it's just that i'm not the biggest fan of it iota j Conus is also a pretty cool uh fusion rifle but i'm not the biggest fan of fusion rifles so i probably am not the person to ask canis major i think is dog shit and last but not least christa Ramello is definitely upon my favorite as well uh again don't like the fact that i forgot to put this weapon in the first run uh fool you this weapon is really fun if you're looking for an auto rifle in the energy slot this is definitely going to be really good and the other cool thing is like you could also pair this with specifically warlock uh Ver verity's brow because if what is it weapon final blows with damage type matching your subclass energy grant death throws so i would recommend like a build like that that would be interesting especially since you can get multi kill clip on this you're just stacking more and more obviously there's other damage perks like frenzy and harmony or you can do even do demolitionist again this weapon is just so much good stuff happening which is why i love it so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets. Things are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.